Most pizza chefs are men, but Teresa is a female pizza chef in Naples and won international awards for best fried pizza and margarita pizza. Her fried pizza is sensational and we want to learn her secrets so we can recreate it at home. So Gigio, where did you bring me today? Where are we today? In a fantastic place. You see this woman? She is the world best pizza chef, the best pizza chef in the world. And she won twice. That's a record. And this is one of the best pizza places in Naples. A traditional pizza place, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Super traditional, managed by a woman yeah. who loves pizza. Yeah. And then historically, women used to make pizzas. And then this thing got lost over... Uh, yeah, because there's so many males now. What happened with the females? Like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's go and see if women are better than men. I believe they are. I think so, I think so. Mia <laughs> is the Regina, the Regina Teresa. The best Grande. woman pizza chef. How are you, Teresa? Io, sono io. Oggi ti faccio una bella pizza fritta che ho vinto il 2017, che si chiama Pizza Femmene Fritta. Ma è quella? È questa. Perché la pizza è femmina. La pizza l'hanno inventata le donne? No, non l'hanno inventata le donne. Come la storia? Nasce prima nei bassi, no, ovviamente. All'epoca la donna, prima per aiutare i mariti, mettevano a fare queste pizze fritte nei bassi ma come mai sei l'unica donna pizzaiola? ma io non credo che sono l'unica donna forse sono l'unica femmina la proviamo sta femmina fritta ok dai guarda che belle bambini e i bambini e i bambini miei sono ah, allora che bello, che bello. Sì, abbiamo una semola abbiamo come, come, come una, una semola perché così non attacca troppo e se attacca non è amaro eh? viene girata poi viene tagliata in due e la sistemiamo questa pandemia ci ha fatto un po' tristire ma penso che il sorriso a noi napoletani ce lo ha mai a tutto il mondo pensavano di toglierci il sorriso no, ma non così. esiste proprio ci andiamo a, a mettere un po' di provola molto generosa quanti di provola molto generosa la vado a chiudere ah ok ok e me la vado a lavorare mamma mia che manualità eh amo sono pizzai oro si eh, si vede che tiene questi poi mi piace da vedi? quanti anni che fate questo lavoro? tenevo 12 anni ma ne tengo 13 mi fate il poco eh ok <ride> quando non è mezzo Anna la femme non si chiede no, l'età non ho si chiesto l'età ma quanti <ride> anni? non è fatto il bocchetto questo è un momento più bello io la, io la giro una volta Cioè questo è il motivo per cui si dice arracquata Che si arracquata? Perché la pizza va arracquata, no cotta Che? Che sto papà? Non ho visto girare la pizza, sempre da un lato. Sempre da un lato. Dietro solo una volta, solo una volta. Solo una volta, volta. l'ho girata. Vabbè, un po' di ricotta di pecora. Che molto leggera, delicata, sottile. E perché di pecora? Perché ha un sapore più forte. No, è un sapore che a me dal primo momento mi è piaciuto. Poi ci vado a mettere un po' di mortadella. Bellissima. Con pistacchie. Ci faccio una bella rosa, guarda. Ah. Guarda com'è bellino, eh? È romantica. Ma ah, sono romantica. Poi ce ne metto un'altra e così si fanno con passione. E amore. E amore. Qualsiasi cosa che fai, pure il lavoro che fate voi. Adesso ci vado a spruzzare un po' di limone. E poi ci mettiamo un po' di pistacchi cotti. Prima li facciamo cuocere e poi facciamo tanti dadini per mettere sulla pizza. A questo punto io prendo un po' di pepe, ma giusto per, eh? giusto per colore, non per sapore. Questo punto lo mettiamo qua. Ricordatevi una cosa, capiz e femmina. It's time to eat. Can yeah. I cut it? Yep. So this must yes, be please. full of cheese. This is ricotta cheese. Oh, shit. 
provolone inside mortadella pistacchio wow we just want to look at the inside are you guys ready we have the beautiful smell of the mortadella with pistacchio yeah. that fresh basil look at the inside here i can't even open it look at that look at this melted cheese on the inside wow beautiful ah, yeah provola so fragrant Mmm. Mmm. Well, melting cheese coming out. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. She won an award with this. Actually, it's the same pizza here. Mm. You know, we are used to this pizza fritta, fried pizza, and everywhere you go, you get the pizza fritta, which is made kind of like a calzone, you know, the fried. Yeah. This is a complete different experience yeah. to what I normally have. I can taste the different layers, they are not blended. Mm. You can taste ricotta cheese, pistachio, um, mortadella. Mm. Look how thin is the mortadella. So it melts in your mouth. You can take it and fold it like this. You know, it's like a, a panino, like this. And then you, you know what? I prefer fried pizza to wood fire oven pizza. Wow, that's yeah. a big statement you're making. Yeah. That's a yeah. huge statement, my friend. Yeah. I, I love fried pizza. The texture is different. Yeah. The, the flavor are different. I, I love fried pizza. I can tell. <laughs> Here we have a new fried pizza ambassador. <laughs> it's not very heavy. It's light. No, also, it's kind of light, you know? Also, the lemon cleans your mouth. That's something that was me. That's what I missed. You're right. So the lemon is there to clean your palate so you can do more and more and more. Thanks to the lemon, now we can eat the margarita. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, lemon. I'm going to assaggi una cosa straordinaria. This is a pupetta. A pupetta, mamma mia. Parmigiano, romano, la yetiella. Oh, producine, <laughs> il prezzemolo. Ah, parsley, parsley. Carne macinata con pane la femme dal giorno prima. Ah. Croccantissimo, buonissimo. L'amore per la tradizione qui, è vero? Sempre. Ma dove vieni? San Marzano? San Marzano o... nostro, italiano, vieni, 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 Oh bello, bello abbondante. Un po' Pe... di parmigiano. Parmigiano, non Pe... pecorino. Parmigiano. Mozzarella, uh, basilico. Basilico, per me non deve mangiare. La gerola. La mozzarella la prendi sempre locale, sì, sì, sempre sì, campana. Sempre. E olio extra Simplicity that is best. The secret in life is to keep it simple. Uso la seme perché ha la farina bianca e il desembre che si attacca, no? Ce la esce mai? Tempi di cottura, Teresa? Fai sui 90 secondi. A me piace molto cuocere sulla pala, lo sai? E questa è l'essenza. Oh. La mia ST. Wow. Bellissima, bellissima. Ego. The World Champion Margherita. Vincenzo, siamo pronti? Ah, look at the cheese. See, it didn't burn, melted to perfection. What you know about what? the crust? This, this cheese is made in Monti Lattari, the, the, milky, ma the milky mountain. This is probably eight hours fermented pizza, according to the color of the crust. So it's a proper traditional pizza. Pizza. Look at the cooking. This was cooked for 90 seconds. Yeah. This pizza tells only about tradition. Another tradition here in Italy is that the pizza, you have to cut it yourself. 
when it comes to the to the table. You know, it's not yeah. really slight, it's not cut for you. So no. why is that? I believe it's because of the nature of pizza, which is a bit soggy. It's uh, it's not rigid, and it would be very hard cutting and keeping toppings as they are on together. Yeah, together. But the thing with the pizza is, if you cut it before, yeah, you get all these ingredients going everywhere, become soggy, like you said, and it's not pretty. No, it's not appealing. From an aesthetic point of view, it would be really bad. I think it's part of the ceremony yeah. slicing yeah. this pizza. Yeah. It's uh, it's something that it's pretty. Yeah. And so let, let's eat. <laughs> This guy, he eats pizza every day. His job is to eat pizzas every day. This guy gets paid every day. The best job in the world. To eat pizzas. Can I come and work for you, please? What? I come and work for free. Uh, absolutely. What I want to try is a tomato from San Marzano tomato. The mozzarella is a very, it's got a strong punch. And, you know, it's got a nice amount of salt very full of flavors it's not bland the dough is perfect yeah the crust is really I don't, I don't call it the soggy it is really it's like firm it stays together the basilico was cooked in the oven mm. so the basil was cooked so when you eat it you don't get that kick from the basil I think the mozzarella is what you get straight away oh in my opinion basilico goes before the, the cooking process and also after so the more basil you have the better it is Look at the how soft is the, the dough. You know, it falls, it falls by itself. This means that the, the dough fermented in the right way. The little holes. This means that the pizza is good. <laughs> mm. Mm. Naples in a bite. That's it. This is the best traditional, one of the best traditional pizzas. And there's a, one thing I want to highlight. We got this pizza a few minutes ago, so it's not warm anymore. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not warm, it's not chewy. The worst that can happen to Neapolitan pizzas, the traditional Neapolitan pizzas, when they get colder, they, they, they become chewy. And, they and are you very don't hard enjoy to, it anymore. No, mm -hmm. no. In this case, it's still, you know, you can cut it, and the crust is crunchy, some way, in some areas. And it's, it's good. We need to get the razor behind. Our secret. Pizza chefs use semola, semolina to stretch the pizza of the flour, okay? Is that right or wrong? When you use uh, double zero flour, there's a risk that pizza, when it's charred, it can get bitter. Okay. Because that kind of flour makes everything bitter. Yeah. Instead, semolina makes things more crunchy. It doesn't really, it gives that kind of uh, rustic taste, flavor and makes pizza different. That's yeah. why this one, the base, was just gently crunchy, slightly crunchy. Because of the semolina. Yes, yes. I enjoyed it. I really yeah, enjoyed yeah. it. I mean, for me, it was I, I really think, good. So I think the semolina really played an important game here. I think so. I think, I think this one could be a good compromise for people who are who want to know more about Neapolitan pizza, but they are still linked to the, you know, emotionally attached to the Typical non Italian Let's say a Roma, pizza, yeah. Roman pizza. So, you know, if you want to have Napolitan pizza, you're probably scared of the soggy yeah. experience because sometimes you get that. Yeah. You come here, you get a great introduction yeah. to the Napolitan pizza. In fact, this is probably the biggest criticism I got from people in the US. Yeah. They don't like Neapolitan pizzas because they are too soft. So, this is something that's going to change your mind. Yeah and it's a must try. And then the location is closer to the Maschian Join, which is the castle so and... The vibe, the yeah. life. Oh. And then Teresa is a charm. Teresa is a femmina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how can you go wrong with food in Italy? Especially if you come to Naples. You know how we make uh, breakfast in Naples? No. Oh. Pizza, pizza fritta. fritta. Who wants to have fried pizza for breakfast? <laughs> Make sure you go and follow this guy's channel, Vincenzo no Viscusi, Gigio Attanasio, and Malati di Pizza. And you will become a fantastic homemade Napolitan pizza master. 
Grazie a te. Ma voi sempre grazie. di tutto, quello che fate che è bellissimo. State sempre a te che c'è sempre qualcuno che crede di essere forte. Buona vita. This was a fun and delicious experience. Teresa is very passionate and loves making pizza. You must visit her pizzeria when you go to Naples.